Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about an optical resonating cavity which is formed out of a mirror at one end which is 100% reflecting and at the other end we also have a mirror that is partially reflecting. In this particular process that is occurring in an optical resonator, the first part is we have the activating the active material in it or called as the lasing medium which is there between this between the two walls of the resonator and this material which is there we normally call it as the lasing material. There are always some photons which are present. A few photons which is there will be moving in some directions. And this is the very first step that the photons which are emitted spontaneously will now initiate the photons which are emitted spontaneously will now contribute towards stimulated emission. So the first step will be actually the formation of the spontaneous photons because this we need up for the, for the stimulated because we need the spontaneous photons for stimulated emission. The second step will be initiation of the stimulated emissions. The third step will actually be reinforcement of the stimulated emitted waves through formation of standing waves between the cavity walls. Now any waves that does not form the standing waves will actually be emitted out and they will be lost out of the system. The next step is the multiplication step. Now in this multiplication step the photons which are actually emitted using the stimulated method they will contribute in the stimulation of other atoms and due to this there is something which is called as a lasing action and finally because of this lasing action 